I want to remind everyone here that's coming on, we have two weeks to the finish line, two weeks till we go on break, two weeks to Christmas. It's been a long year, even for those that have been in lockdown and had a few months, particularly those Victorians. Aaron, are you a Victorian, by the way? I am. This is beautiful Melbourne City behind me. And wow. wow. Now, can I confirm, Aaron? Mate, is that a virtual background or is that the real no, deal? That's, that's really the city. Look, there we go. All right. All right. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Man, I'm so pumped and excited here because the gentleman on the other side of the camera, Aaron Kelly, is one of the uh, real estate directors of a business called Podium. You're going to keep hearing Podium coming up and many of you are going to ask, who the hell is Podium? Well, let me tell you, that was so good. Even Google has invested in this business. And I've got to say to you, in the next session, in the next 30 minutes in this session, we're going to be going over a couple of things that I think are absolute game changers to real estate for 2022. I have to say, I have already seen the benefits in my own business. I have clients who have seen the number of reviews that they're getting absolutely skyrocket. And I'm also going to let you know that you're going to be able to see a quick return of investment with one functionality called web chat. Over the next 30 minutes, we're going to go and do a deep dive on two of these features uh, that Aaron has got uh, with Podium. So firstly, Aaron, good morning. And good morning to everyone that's come on. Hey, Catherine Hall, we got some heavy hitters here. Hey, Sid, how are you going? Good to see you. Those that are watching on Facebook, love you to press that share button and share the love. Aaron? Yes. How's life, mate? How's life in Melbourne? Life is getting, it's slowly getting back to normal. We're, we've, we've, we've had a hard slog in, in, lock, in and out of lockdowns and now we're out. We're finally free. Everything's starting to, to feel a bit more normal again which is exciting that's a very good thing and what i'm going to actually just put in uh change my my microphone um so can i ask you uh yeah. you, when did you start going back into the office probably about a month and a half ago i think right okay does it feel like it's over does it feel like covid is like, what's it feel like in Melbourne for all our people that aren't in Melbourne? I mean, there's still lots of cases in Melbourne, but do okay. people sort of circulating around the streets? Uh, uh, yeah, bars busy? Uh, slowly uh, come to life yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Everything slowly comes to life. There's line on the weekends. Like I live just outside the city on the weekends. There's lines at all the bars and the clubs at nighttime. It's, it's, there's a, there's a sense of, I think an excitement and anticipation of what the new normal is going to be, I think. So people are excited to be to be out and about. Okay. So listen, COVID clarity has seen a lot of vendors and buyers change their perception about real estate and where they want to live. But in addition to that, Aaron, COVID clarity over the last year has seen a digital transformation in the world of real estate agents. We now are seeing every day, prop tech, fintech has gone through the roof. Every day we're seeing things. Now, I'm the sort of person that doesn't like bleeding edge. And that happens in technology sometimes where you actually go off and you're looking at a bit of tech and you get, you know, over the moon about it. And then you realize, man, you're outlaying all this money. You can't execute. And most importantly, it's not helping you get listings and sales, which is all what we care about. But when I did my due diligence on Podium, I thought to myself, hey, this is a game changer. Quickly, what does Podium do? Tell me what does Podium do? Yeah, we're, we're, we're a growth and communication platform, Tom. So uh, we help agencies get found, get chosen, um, get seen, really. Uh, and, and so I think exactly what you're saying, there's a, there's a lot of tech bleed out there. But one thing's for sure, we know the people who use Podium, it's a software like anything else, if you use it, you're going to see the results. Okay, so some of the results, man, I'm going to talk about this. Exceed real estate in Western Australia, exceed real estate in Western Australia went from being a 4.4 star average to a 4.7 star average. But to me, 
the big thing that really, really I thought to myself, man, this is a case study that we need to actually dig deep in. They had 180 reviews and then they adopted Podium and they went to 1,237 as of yesterday. So not only did they actually get their rating up from 4.4 to 4.7, they, my friends, are at 1,237 reviews. Now, you know, Aaron, the research shows that reviews are a major indicator of being discovered online. Give us some of the research out there. Like, if you think about it, whenever you want to go out and take your family out for dinner or meet up with friends for dinner, what are you going to do? You Google restaurants in Carlton or restaurants in Sydney CBD. And, and so you're looking for things. The, and then the list that comes up, it says their rating and their, their, their amount of reviews. No one's going to choose a 3.4 star with 72 reviews because the, the population, the Australian consumers spoke and they're saying this place is crap, but this place is 4.9 stars with 500 reviews. Obviously, they're doing something right. Um, but, it's your, but, but, but Aaron, the other thing that you said to me offline is um, the search engine um, optimization algorithm yeah. is highly influenced by number of reviews and quality of reviews. Is that right? That's it. So, so, so when someone, we, we know that the Australian consumer, we looked at, we've looked at Australian consumer behavior when it comes to real estate. We know that people who are wanting to buy or lease, they're going to go to realestate.com.au or domain because that's where everything's listed. But people who are looking for representation, we know 88% of them are going to do a near me search. So people who want to sell, people who are wanting to lease out a property, they're going to do what's called a near me search. So where I live, North Melbourne, if I was looking to, to sell, I don't know any agents in my area, to be honest. So I'd just go on Google, I'd say real estate agency near me. And what pops up is a map with a list of three, sometimes four agencies underneath. There could be 20 agencies, but Google's only gonna give me three or four. And you're placing in that section is based on four key things. So it's based on the rating, number one. Number two, your how many reviews you've got. Number three, it's the frequency at which you get reviews. So we've seen people who have 50 reviews and a five-star rating get knocked out of their place in the map back by someone with a 4.7 star rating and 40 reviews, but they're getting a review every single day. So it, the algorithm looks for these things. And the fourth thing is, are you interacting with those reviews? So as a business, are you replying to every review and taking the review seriously? Because that's what Google's looking for. So those four key areas. Okay. And I have to say, listen, don't think of this as being something, oh, we're just saying it to get people on the trail of getting reviews. Think about your own behavior, everyone. It doesn't matter whether it's a restaurant, hotel accommodation you're booking, any kind of product or service. You now do not trust the company as much as what you'll trust another consumer who has a view on it, particularly if they are a user of that product or service. And all I'll say to you, if there's one KPI I want every real estate agent to crush in 2022 is the number of strong reviews you get. As far as I'm concerned, Aaron, if you've got strong reviews, you're doing something right in real estate. It means your vendor management is good. It means your listing presentation is actually on point. It means that you're actually creating raving fans. And as far as I'm concerned, raving fans is the best sales strategy you can have. It beats prospecting if you actually create an incredible level of service that people go on and say, Five out of five for this girl or guy. City Real Estate South Australia, within first three months, obtained 200 plus reviews, right? Um, and I've got to say to you, like, like, to me, to me, and I want to ask you, by the way, if someone's watching this right now and they're thinking, yeah, well, guess what? Like, we get it. Uh, how does Podium actually help when we can actually just send out um, an email, right? Or we can just, I don't know, whatever form of contact an agent is using at the moment to get reviews. Where does Podium fit in to actually help this? What did you do that helped a company get one, two, three, seven, 1,237 reviews in such a short time? What did you do? 
Yeah, so most most agencies, you're right. They ask people, they, they'll send out an email. They're, they're not doing it at number one the right time and they don't know who to ask, when to ask or how to ask. They're the three things we would say. And so when people use us, we actually have a customer success team to train them who to ask, when to ask, how to ask. But not only that, we make it really easy for number one, the business, and number two, the consumer to get to, to leave the review. So we've got an integrated link with Google. Um, it goes out via text message through our platform really simply. It's three clicks for the agency to do to send it out. But it's even better is normally to leave a review, even if you ask for it via an email or something, you send out some sort of link. It's going to take them to your GMB, which is your Google My Business page. And then there's multiple steps involved for a, a the, your everyday consumer to leave a review with our link, cuts all the crap and all the in-between steps, minimizes it down to two, two to three clicks, um, makes it really, really simple for them just to click the link, leave the review, get off. Um, and, and yeah, makes it, makes, it, makes it simple for them to do it in the moment as well. Because we, we know that if you don't get them in the moment and you don't make it really convenient, 30 seconds max, they're not going to do it. When they get home, the last thing they're thinking about is you as the real estate agent who helped them today. Okay. And can I ask you, is it email or text message that you request the reviews? Yeah, text message, 100%. Email, 27% open rate. We know that text message has a 93% open rate within the first two minutes of a text be being received. Okay. Now, Aaron, I want to ask you on... So, so, so you've actually told me that contact forms are dead, which I'm going to come to it in a moment. But so you get these reviews, right? And all of a sudden, people are saying, man, you know, this real estate company, man, they got 500 reviews, they got a score of 4.8. Um, um, and they get really excited, then they come to your website. Yep. Right. Um, and I want you to tell me that's the next bit in the puzzle. The next bit in the jigsaw puzzle is it's okay to get traffic to your website right? But nothing happens without any form of interaction because just people coming to your website's not enough. Tell me what Podium does next. That's it. So the only call to action that Google has in that map pack when someone does a near me search is either website click or directions. What we see typically is within 12 months, we see 96.7 increase on average across all the 560 something agencies we work with who have been with us for 12 months. 96 percent increase in website clicks but once they're there every real estate agency owner i speak to i speak to seven or eight a day when i ask them how many contact forms do you get filled out a month they say three five if i'm lucky some of them some of them say between five and ten but that's a very very small number of agencies who say that and and i look at their web traffic and i say that, that that's you've got 300 400 500 people visiting your website a month you're only getting three people leaving an inquiry so what our web chat does is it makes it really convenient all powered by text we see typically a 10 percent. so about 30 people if you've got 300 and something visitors a month 30 plus visitors actually leaving an inquiry over the three to five that you were getting okay so i want you this is a bit that I can I love because I'm making money because of web chat. So we wake up each day yep. and in the real estate gym, we've got sales because we've got a 24 seven salesperson working there. Let's call it a technology salesperson. I want you to explain to me what web chat is. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Everyone has probably used a web chat in their time. If you go to like an Optus or a Telstra website, there's a web chat on their website. And normally it's a live chat. You're held hostage at the window. We hate that. We hate that feeling of being held hostage. You can't close the screen because what if it closes the chat or what if the person turns up? And you, I was on the phone to Optus about two weeks ago with a problem with my phone. Waited 20 minutes for an agent to come live and talk to me. Um, whereas, so what we do is we cut out all that mess. We cut out the problem of people feeling like they're held hostage at the website. We take the conversation straight offline. So all of it is really, um, all the language is really speaking uh, the consumer's language of text message. We know 90% of, of Australian consumers would rather text a local business like a real estate agent than pick up the phone and call or email. And so what we do is we have this little web chat on the screen. It's, it uses the language of text. Hey, 
welcome to our website, text us now. They leave their name, they leave their mobile number, they type their inquiry, they click send. And then there's a level of AI built into the back end, Tom, which is, which is really exciting. So we have a list of frequently asked questions, keywords that we know work really well, really well in the industry that we, we supply you with as an, as an agency. And, and they're listed, the list of things like, if someone shows the intent of wanting to sell a property, they're going to get a specific text message back about getting an appraisal done straight away. It's not just going to be some generic robotic answer like, we will be with you shortly. No, it's going to be specific. If they say, hey, we're looking at leasing out our property, they're going to get something about property management. So, so we really make sure that you guys as agency owners aren't having to, to field every and filter every inquiry straight away. We make it really easy. And then everything then is through conversational text straight after that. Okay, gang. Let's repeat, it's taking it offline and using a thing we all love, text messaging. That's what it's doing. Will Hampson, thank you for your feedback. Great information. And I'll be in contact with you after this webinar. All the smart people are going to be in contact with Aaron after the webinar. By the way, if you're getting excited, uh, podium.com.au forward slash Tom Panos will take you straight there. Podium.com.au forward slash Tom Panos. But Aaron, I want you to show me now, what does web chat look like? I think you did indicate to me, you're going to be able to use one of the clients that's a user of Podium, just to illustrate it in case people can't visualize what web chat is. Absolutely, absolutely. Let me let me jump, share my screen. So here's a one of the agencies that uses us. And you can see here, here's the web chat. Now it's completely customizable. So you can change the color. You can even change the little image in there here to a phone or something like that. You can change the person's face to be one of your team members. It's a bit friendly as well. So if you've used the web chat before and you come back, it's going to say, welcome back, Tom, text me. So it's going to be really friendly. It's smart. And then when we come in here, really easy to leave your inquiry. Just put my name, my number, and then my inquiry. Click send. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get some agent's hopes up at Ray White. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's but it, right? I would get a reply straight away that says, hey, Aaron, let's let's work at getting an appraisal done or something. Whatever their template is that's set up, it might say something like, hey, Aaron, we're, we'd be excited to work with you to sell your home. Send us through your, your address, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, and we'll get working on a free appraisal for it for you. Something like that. Okay, so gang, do you understand what we mean by AI giving you the response? So what we're talking about is um, you'll work with Podium and they'll work out, hey, we're thinking of selling and it's going to give them stuff on that. Hey, we're looking at buying, right? It's going to give them stuff on that. The bottom line is, let me tell you, I'm waking up each morning and we're having messages and then we're converting sales every day. We didn't have these sales before. So I have to say, as Will says, it is an absolute game changer. And what I'd love you all to have, being part of my community, first move advantage. You want to be the people that are leading the way. Now, there's an element of this as well that we haven't covered today, but we've covered previously, Aaron, and that is text messaging, right? Podium is the best of the best I've seen in using text messaging to be a high-tech, high-touch agent. It's all part of the deal. So there are three things when you become a Podium client. Number one, you get the seamless process to get reviews. Number two, you get web chat. And number three, you get, I think it's close to unlimited text messaging or thereabouts, right? Yep. Um, right. Imagine text messaging to pre-list to buy nurturing to current vendors to your whole database. Hey, I'm not talking about you stopping making calls. I'm talking about you having a strategy where you are saturating the market because you've become high tech, high touch. You're hitting them with video. You're hitting them with your letterbox drops. You're hitting them there with phone calls. You're hitting them there with your weekly email newsletter. But in addition to that, you've got text messages that are going out consistently with touch points. And 
The great thing about text messages, as far as I'm concerned, it's not as good as voice to voice, belly to belly, but it's much better than email because those open rates of text messages, Aaron, are through the roof compared to emails. 100%. We know, we know in Australia, it's 93% of text messages are open in the first two minutes. And you can, everyone uses MailChimp or something like that. You can actually do your own analytics into your own email chains that go out. But the average in Australia is 27% open rate of emails. That, it's just, it's a, it's a game changer. Okay. So what happens next? What happens next? So let's assume you're sitting there today and you think to yourself, that's it. This is a great time for me to set myself up for success in 2022. This is a time for me that I've actually got to do different if I want to be different. And I've yeah. said it before, what got you here won't get you there. It is a different strategy. It is a different mindset. It is a different approach. And it all starts today. So if someone wants to have a crack at exploring Podium, what is the best way? I mean, I've told them that music, in fact, what I should do is I should actually type in the chat box here, the actual actual podium.com.au podium.com.au uh tom panos forward slash there that's it there everyone i've actually put it in aaron can you look in the chat box there have yeah, i, actually, I can see it is that right yep that's it that's podium, it. no podium.com.au oh yes thank you so much that's why i like to double no, check there it is there you put it in. Beautiful. Thank you, Susan. Okay. So guys and girls, hit them up, hit them up, hit them up. Oh, it's got try.podium.com. Try Is that right? Yeah, you can do it that way as well. So either one will work. The podium.com.au slash Tom Panos or try. Okay. Trust me, guys and girls, once you know a business name in the world that we live in, if you can't get onto it, there's other problems, right? <laughs> so, Podium. Now, 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 now. Listen, um, Aaron. I want to thank you so much for your time. I'm curious. Once, like the setup. How long does it take to set up? Is it a difficult, like an onboarding process? Now, so I, I I speak with seven or eight agency owners a day. Half of them would sign up on the call with me, and within a week, they're up and running. Web chats on their website. Everything's good to go. And I just want to confirm. Um, people, you can actually have the reviews going to where you want as well, Aaron. You know, like a lot of people, you know, like to have reviews going to realestate.com.au. Um, there, you can actually choose, you know, the destination. You can have multiple places that they can choose, but you can also set up, if you're a, an agency that has multiple Google My Business pages because you've got two or three locations or all your agents individually have their own Google My Business, we can set up as many review add-ons with the unique link for any Google My Business. It doesn't have to just go to one um, as well. All righty, guys and girls, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning for this half hour of great information. Yes, it has been a bit of a small plug to Podium, but I've got to tell you, when you believe in something, you know what? It ain't selling. There is a question that's come here from Jonathan White. Do you interface with uh, real estate in New Zealand? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I will find out and let you know, Jonathan. I'll, I'll get I'll get in touch, touch with you. I'll find out from my boss. So, John, John, Jonathan, if you want to put in the chat box, because we're recording this, where you're from, do you... Uh, then there's another one. Will says, do you do Facebook reviews? Absolutely, yep. One of the things can direct to Facebook reviews. The other great thing about our platform, Tom, is um, so often people have to log into Google or log into Facebook to manage those reviews, to reply to them. We've got an integration with Google. Google back us to do this. We're the only company in the world that Google partner with to help organically and rapidly grow them, but also manage them. So in the back end of our platform, you can reply to your Google reviews and your Facebook reviews all from within Podium. Aaron, Aaron, what I'm yeah. going to do is Catherine Hall says, would you like, would like to hear from Aaron? You know, is is should we be giving your details on here? Look, um, I've, or, or... I've jotted down the names as they've been as they've been asking questions. I've jotted down names. I'm I'll give you personally a call today uh, just to let you know who I am, introduce myself, and uh, see if we can touch base. Um, then we've got another thing. Sid G Sid Gandhi says also quickly your quick take on how does it differ from rating review platforms such as Rate My Agent. That's pretty much doing the same thing, question mark. 
Well, it's not really because rate, rate My Agent is a destination to go to. We're talking about the actual methodology and the process to take them to that destination. Am I right there? Yeah, Rate My Agent is is a great um, great platform. It's very internal. It's great for internal agencies like to know where people are at in their agency. But your everyday consumer has no idea what Rate My Agent is. They've done if they're not in the real estate game, they've never heard of it. But where do they where where have they heard of? Where do they go to for every single question they ever ask? I know at home what I do. Hey Google, what's the weather? Hey Google, where what time is this movie showing? Hey Google, what's set the alarm for this. Hey, Google, turn my lights off. We have become a Google world. So, so Google's at powering everything. And that's where, where people go to, to, to find out the answers to the questions they need. Guys and girls, whether you like it or not, they're Google stalking you as we're speaking. <laughs> if you're in business, you're in show business. It is not an option on whether you want to participate it because they're already participating the consumer is watching you 24 seven. I suggest that we take personal responsibility and that we understand we all have a digital footprint. We clearly now know that people are sitting there and doing an audition on you. In the old days, it was just open homes and in the newspapers. But in 2022, they're looking at you on their iPhone, on their iPad, they are stalking you. Make sure they're stalking a star. Aaron Kelly, I want to thank you so much. Signing off, everyone. And don't forget, you're going to enjoy your Christmas a lot better if you get there on Christmas Eve exhausted because you worked hard to earn your two-week break. Trust me, a stone and wood beer or a glass of champagne is going to be feel a lot better if you've set yourself up for success in 2022 and how do you set yourself up for success in 2022? You make sure that the last 14, 15 days of work in 2021 are crushed. Signing off. See you, Tom. Thanks, everyone.